A bit of a random update here. Uh, recently we've been in a speedrun mood, watching a bunch of stuff of that, and I noticed that there was no any percent speedrun for Banjo-Kazooie. And uh, if you know the game decently, you'll know that there's not normally that much stuff you can skip, which would explain why no one's done it. But if you use a bunch of codes, you can actually do a pretty interesting playthrough of the game. Because you can put in... Um, normally you can put in two codes that will do things like open levels or open note doors, and then they'll warn you that if you put in another one, then your game will be erased, and then if you do put in another one, they do erase it. But you can continue playing. So the idea I had was to open up the last three levels of the game, which would skip um, 30 or... I don't remember how many jiggies, somewhere around 30. So it's a pretty big skip. All you have to do is type in these codes. So I tried that, put in the three codes, and I played through the entire game and beat the um, Grunty's Furnace Fun quiz show. And then I got this. Uh, kind of a ghetto recording here, but this is at the end of the Furnace Fun with Grunty still there and the prizes and everything, and the game thinks that I haven't been playing, basically. I lost everything that I had. My time is down to half a minute. Grunty and all this stuff is totally intangible. No collision detection, by the way. And also, I have no moves. So, I guess this is a result of the game deleting itself while still being played. Except it waits until the very last part of the game to do anything about it. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. That's what happened with the run. Uh, don't use three codes in a playthrough. Unless you save and quit. I'm not sure what happens if you do save after the second code, if it will remember if you opened it or not. But, anyway, uh, this is where the recording ended, but we did go back after this and uh, assumed that nothing was going to be accessible, but and we were mostly right, but uh turns out if you do go back to the board game, you can't go on any of the squares, but you can jump into the lava, and doing this warps you to the entrance of the Furnace Fun. It plays the cutscene as if you haven't done it yet, and then if you try to leave, you actually can go back through Grunty's Lair a bit, walking through the wrong side of note doors to get back, until you get to the cavern region where you have to raise the water, and then because you have no moves and you're stuck with the terrible half-height jump, you actually can't jump the, like, six inches that you need to to get onto a ledge and continue going. Uh, did not check what happens if you kill yourself in the lair, though. I'm not sure where that spawns you. But, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, probably not going to speedrun this game. If you put in two codes instead of three, it would be kind of interesting. Uh, Speed Demos Archive wouldn't accept it, because they don't take playthroughs that use codes anymore. So, if you did, it wouldn't be accepted there, but you could do it for fun. I don't know. That's th Those are my findings with Banjo. And also, on a completely unrelated note, uh, we are looking to sell a copy of... Uh, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix for the GameCube comes with the dance pad and everything. Considered one of the rarer GameCube games out there. If anybody, for some reason, would be interested in buying this, then uh, send Bruna a PM. If you don't know her screen name, I'll put it in the description. Uh, and also looking to sell an old uh, Game & Watch. It's the Parachute game. It's in the box. It even has the instructions. Yeah, it's it's an original game. It's from the 80s. We just kind of found it, and uh, selling it at a game store wouldn't get the full price that we could get off of eBay or something like that. But if anybody listening is interested in buying that, then uh, we're looking for at least 125 So, yeah, if you are interested in either of those, then I guess send her a PM. If not, then I hope the banjo stuff was interesting. See you for some other random update in the future.